Zildjian. A custom Chinese. 18 inch. Got an 18 inch Chinese here. And uh, looks like it has an II. And an II. 1999. I did have a China before. I was the owner of an A, Zildjian A, China Boy High, 18 inch. And I said sold it. I don't know why I sold it, but I did. But it's okay because I have up the ante and I got an A custom this time. A custom is the best. You can't beat an A custom. This one here is in good shape for a 1999. Still got a nice finish. A customs are thinner symbols. Yep, that's what it sounds like. They have a really cool sound. Now there's a lot of different ways to play at China. I don't know if anybody knows of the drummer from Queens, right? Two crashes in front of him and two Chinese on one on the left and the right. He makes these Chinese sound really cool. He always has. I've always been a fan of Scott Rockenfield. His drumming style is pretty cool. You know, I like the way he uses his chinas. Now, I think chinas are best played not all the time, okay? You can't, you can't be crashing at china like it's a crash symbol. You can't hit it and hit it and hit it. You need to hit it with intent at a specific time. It needs to be at a real dramatic part in the song or in place where a real accent is acceptable. You can't just hit this thing like it's a crash symbol because it's not. This is a effect symbol and it is a very, very dramatic effect symbol. Hitting these over and over and over like a crash to me, it doesn't make sense. You only want to hit it once or twice in a song where the most dramatic part is that you really want to accent. Whatever your creativity tells you to do, think like a good drummer, you'll know when to hit this you will avoid hitting it too much so the chinese is quite an awesome instrument it really makes for a very impactful accent and um that's really all I got to say about it.